Change of variables is basically a generalization of u substitution to higher dimension. Now, if you'll recall, u substitution says that if I integrate from a to b of f of g of t, g prime of t, and if everything's nice here, say g and f are both continuous functions on the respective intervals, then this is going to be actually, and of course g prime of t is continuous as well, then this is actually also equal to g of a, g of b, f of x, dx. This gives us a nice formula, and it basically inverts the chain rule. So the chain rule is one big tool that we have when we do differentiation. And so, of course, it'll make sense that an invert, an inversion formula for the chain rule is going to make a big difference when we go and integrate. This is why change of variables is very important, because it essentially generalizes this very important tool. And we're only going to look at change of variables in two dimensions, but you could do it in three dimensions. So suppose you have some region R, which is a subset of R2. And suppose that G from, uh, sorry, that should be a normal R. So just R into R2 is C1 and the image of R under this map is equal to some domain D. Well, if F from the set D into R2 is just continuous, then the integral over the region D f x y dx dy is equal to the integral over the region r f composed with g of u v times the determinant d g1 g2 D U V. That's the Jacobian, the determinant of the Jacobian of G D U D V. And that's a basic fact. So in order to go from here to in this direction, we just have to apply this formula and to go the other way similarly. So let's do an example where this is where we immediately illustrate the utility of this theorem. So let's suppose we want to integrate the integral over the domain d of x plus y dx dy, where d is the image of the unit square under the mapping g of u v is equal to 
e squared plus 3v, v squared plus 3u. So this is a highly non-rectangular re region. It's a very, very odd region. So just to do a, a quick, very rough sketch. Right, so in uv space, this is just a unit cube. And when I transform, so this is the region R. Nice, simple rectangular region. And when I move it into xy space, or the xy plane, I have something that looks horrendous. Something like that. It's not a very faithful depiction, but it looks horrible. Uh, and if you wanted to do the integration over non-rectangular regions, you could do that if you figured out what these boundaries were, and that's not too difficult to figure out what those boundaries are. Um, but you'd have to split it into one, two, three parts in order to actually integrate. And that is deeply inefficient if we have a better way. And so we do have a better way. And all we have to do essentially is to integrate using the change of variables rule. And all we need to do to do that is to compute the Jacobian of this transformation. So we see that d g1, g2, du, v in this scenario. Well, it's very simple. We take a partial of g1 with respect to u will give us 2u. Partial of g1 with respect to 3v gives us 3. Here we'll have 3 and 2v. And this will give us, uh, and it's actually the absolute value of the determinant. So we have 4uv minus 9. And now we plug that in. So change of variables. So we transform this integral over the region D. Uh, we have the function x plus y dx dy. Now it's going to be integral over the region R. Now we just substitute in everything for x, right? So x becomes u squared plus 3v and y becomes v squared plus 3u. So we get u squared plus 3v plus v squared plus 3u. And of course we'll have to substitute in the absolute value of the determinant of the Jacobian. And we have a du dv factor over here. Then we fully write it out. We'll have integral from 0 to 1. So the region now becomes a rectangular region. We can gen just integrate from 0 to 1 in the uv plane. And of course we'll still have u squared plus 3v plus v squared plus 3u. And now if we compute the absolute value of the Jacobian over this region, we have 9 minus 4uv du dv. And now this is just a polynomial over a rectangular region, which is very simple for us to compute. Still kind of long-winded, but much easier. And you can evaluate this.